We're so excited to introduce you to Screencastify Submit. It's the easiest way to request videos from anyone, especially your students. Welcome to the Submit dashboard where you can create new assignments by clicking the blue button. Once you select a new assignment, you'll be faced with three different recording types. Either you can ask recipients to record only their screen and webcam, which is perfect if you'd like them to be able to narrate something on screen, like a Google Slides presentation. You can also have students or anyone else record their webcam. This will capture what's happening on their webcam plus their microphone audio. Another cool thing about webcam recording assignments is that they're compatible with mobile devices. So if you think students might actually be recording on different types of devices, that's the way to go. And finally, you can have students record only their screen. This is perfect if you think students need to show you something on screen, but would rather not have their webcam actually visible. For example, your shy students. Next, you'll be asked to name your assignment, give it a title and a few instructions. For this particular assignment, let's call in an assessment for Spanish 1, and we'll ask kids to introduce themselves in Spanish in a webcam-only assignment. Once these instructions look exactly the way that you'd like, you can go ahead and select Next. Don't worry, you can always edit assignments later. Next, you'll configure your assignment. For assignment access, you have two different options. Either anyone with the link will be able to submit videos, or you can lock it down to only those within your organization. So for example, if I only wanted people who have a Screencastify.com email address to be able to submit videos, I can simply type that into the box. Of course, you can add as many allowed domains as you'd like. For video privacy, you have three different options. The first means that students can't view any videos, including the ones that they create. This is the perfect option if you'd like to create assessments and ensure that students don't have access to their own video. The next option is that students can view their own video, but won't be able to view any videos created by their peers. This is great if you want to have a private conversation with kiddos and assure them that anything that they say is going to remain completely private between the two of you. And the last option is that students can view all videos, including those created by their peers. This is perfect for enacting social learning. The last setting is whether or not you'd like to receive email notifications from us. If the answer is no, go ahead and switch that off so that it's great. Give us just a second and your assignment is officially live. You can select the preview button to see exactly what students see from their perspective. On the assignment page, students see the title of the assignment, your directions, and nothing else. In order to record, they can simply press this blue button that says record, see a short countdown, or skip it. And once they're done, they can stop the recording and submit it. Those videos are automatically submitted to you on your Google Drive. If you've selected that students will see no other videos, all they'll see is a short message that their video has been submitted successfully. If you allow them to see their own videos or videos submitted by their peers, they'll also see additional links here where they'll be able to view those videos. To view student submissions, you can simply click on the number next to the assignment title in your submit dashboard. This will take you to the Google Drive folder where you'll be able to see all of the videos submitted by your students. Every time you'll notice that videos are named with the name of the student as well as their email address for easy access. And that's it. You've created a submit assignment and viewed student videos.